Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Hey guys, we're your hosts, M and J. And today we're looking at Justice League Future State, a recent comic that follows a future Justice League, including Jonathan Kent, the son of Lois and Clark. We thought this comic was pretty clunky. It wasn't bad, but it probably could have improved on some things. I think this book might have worked a little better if they had shown the team forming, so they could better introduce the characters, instead of just throwing us into the deep end with them. Some of these characters have had their own books in the past, like Green Lantern, Lantern, but we haven't read those books, so this was our introduction to most of these characters. But we're given some insight into how this new team operates, along with some information about what happened to the previous League, so it could be interesting to see where this all leads. I just think the pacing was too fast, and maybe they could have worked on the setup more. The book begins with an exposition dump, telling us a bit about this new Justice League. This exposition is coming from Tio Maro, who is a part of the new Legion of Doom. We don't get to see either group actually come together, at this point they're already formed. But Maro tells us that he and the other villains did not accept this new Justice League at first, calling them not our Justice League, which seems a little on the nose. But he now firmly believes that this is the new Justice League, and he plans to succeed where Lex and his Legion of Doom failed. I feel like we could have seen the new Justice League and the new Legion of Doom form, and we could have seen the Legion of Doom not accept the Justice League, instead of just being told about it. Maybe the Justice League League could feel the same way about this new Legion of Doom. Like, is Tio Maro really on the same level as Lex Luthor? With the rest of the new Legion on board, it looks like there's gonna be a big clash between these two teams. And on the next page, the Legion of Doom is dead. They were killed off panel, apparently. And the new Justice League is investigating. And by investigate, I mean exposit more. We find out the old Justice League fell apart because of a traitor, although it's kept very mysterious. So now this new Justice League operates with new rules, which means no sharing secret identities, no hanging out outside of work, basically don't be friends. Just show up when there's a problem, and then go their separate ways when it's finished, and team up again if another issue comes up. I feel like all this exposition cuts the weight of the Legion of Doom's demise. I mean, seven or eight supervillains were all just killed, apparently in a day. What caused that? It must have been something pretty big. But the Legion of Doom wasn't actually important. They were just here for exposition, and to tell the readers how awesome the new Justice League is. Green Lantern decides to continue the investigation by herself, so she tells everyone else they can go home. Seems like they just got here, but okay, bye. Jonathan suggests that they have a team meeting, maybe talk about adding new members to the League, or just hang out. But the rest of the team ditches him, except for Wonder Woman who invites him to get some hot dogs. Then we get more exposition, but this time they're talking with their mouths full. John explains that he's bummed out that he can't be friends with any of the other members, and that he doesn't even know Batman and Flash's names. Wonder Woman tells him that this is isn't his dad's Justice League, and that the only reason the two of them can hang out is because they already knew each other before they joined the League, but it's for the best that they follow the rules. And then she flies away, so good talk I guess. Superman's still pretty bummed though, so he goes to the Fortress of Solitude to sulk, but it turns out that Aqua Woman and the Flash have been hanging out together outside of work, and they might be dating. Aqua Woman brings up the fact that they're breaking protocol, but it turns out the Flash doesn't care about that rule, but if they feel that way maybe they should talk to John. He seems pretty lonely, or maybe they only care about hanging out together specifically, but suddenly Superman and Wonder Woman show up, except we know John went to the Fortress of Solitude, so we know it can't be him. And then another Superman shows up to Green Lantern, so the Justice League end up being attacked by what appears to be more Justice League members, and these doppelgangers know their secret identities. Green Lantern's ring scans Superman and says that it's John Kent, but Green Lantern doesn't believe it. Unfortunately, the evil Justice League makes quick work of the real Justice League. Then it's revealed who these guys are. It turns out it's the Hyper Clan, a group of white Martians who tried to take over the world but the Justice League stopped them. Then the Legion of Doom got the bright idea to release them so they could take out the Justice League for them. But then the Hyper Clan killed the Legion of Doom, which is kind of rude considering the fact that they did free them. But bad guys double-crossing bad guys is nothing new. So now their plan is to impersonate the Justice League and then take over the world while also being loved and adored by the people of Earth, which is a solid enough plan. It's just that we thought we would get some kind of showdown between the new Justice League and Legion of Doom, only for all of this to kind of come out of left field. Overall, this book was pretty clunky. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever read, but it could have been stronger. A lot of the book was exposition, which led to a lot of problems with telling us things that happened rather than showing us, and that's just never as fun to read. It might have felt more impactful when the Justice League got captured if we had seen them working together on a mission. Instead, it's more like, here they are, okay, now they're captured, here's the Legion of Doom, never mind, 
fine, they're all dead now. I don't know why Teomaro bothered to get together a new Legion of Doom if his plan was to just release another supervillain team and have them fight the Justice League. Couldn't he have just skipped the Legion of Doom part and released the Hyper Clan himself? Because if there was a reason for the Legion of Doom, they never explained it. Maybe the plan was to have the Legion of Doom team up with the Hyper Clan, but at this point we haven't seen the Justice League fight the Legion of Doom. I think it would have been good to see how the Justice League works together, how the Legion of Doom works together, and how they interact with each other in some kind of altercation. That would help the reader get a sense of these characters, how the villains look down on the Justice League for not being the real Justice League. Maybe the Justice League feels the same about the Legion of Doom. There are things about the original Justice League that John likes, so maybe there are things about the original Justice League that John wishes could be carried over to their team, and the way he's treated by this new Legion of Doom could affect that. I kind of feel like Teo Morrow is just here to be the old white guy to tell the readers to accept the new Justice League, but I think that's pretty unnecessary. Legacy characters are a normal part of comic books, and this is set in the future, so I think the readers could understand that there's a new Justice League. A lot of the problem with legacy characters just comes from writers bragging about how much better these new characters are than the ones who came before. This ends up turning readers off to these new characters because they have a connection to the old ones. The writers need to work on building these new characters up, but they seem to think all they need to do is disparage the original characters, and that's enough. We didn't get that much with these new characters in this issue, but we're told that we must love them as much, if not more, than the original Justice League. We've just had so many more stories and so much more time with the other Justice League. I mean, I don't hate this Justice League, but we need more time to get to know them. And that's actually okay. There's nothing wrong with getting to know new characters. It comes off as kind of insecure when you're telling your readers that they must love these new characters, or they're not real fans or something. They have potential, just let the story play out naturally. So those were our thoughts. What do you guys think? We'd love to hear from you. Before we go, we want to give a shout out to our members, Caleb Nelson, Stutania, Tyrant Carnivore, Adam K, Shiny Orc Boy, Taylor Ramirez, The Rabbit Mancer, Dash Hound, Haley Kosheva, Ray Thulu, Hunter Rose, General Bolivar, Death Charge Media, Samru163, and Kopitio Bozinski. If you'd like to become a member, you can hit the join button next to the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. We also have a Buy Me Coffee if you want to support us that way. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye guys.